got a few hours to spare, so uh, the wife's letting me get out of the house before the rainstorm comes. It's supposed to be pretty bad thunderstorms this afternoon like there was yesterday. Not that you guys know about yesterday because this is going to come out in like a week or two. But trying to beat the thunderstorms, I got like four hours or so to finish, so that means I'm going to the canal near my house. I uh, haven't really put a good amount of time in there this year. I think I've only gone there like, I think I've only made one video. So I've gone there like twice, once, I only went for like two hours, not even. But uh, I'm going to fish around, maybe lock through today. I'll see how the bite is up where I launch and uh, go from there. I'm hoping to catch them on the frog, maybe an underspin. And uh, can't not punch for them around here, just, you know, flipping and pitch for them. So. That's the plan, and hopefully we get into a few big ones. I'll see you guys on the water. Let's do it. You can see all the branches and stuff like that just all over the place, but look at this. Huge tree fell in that storm yesterday. It was thunder, lightning, wind, rain, like torrential downpour, essentially. It's all right across the road, it looks like. It's an old guy. Storm was no joke yesterday. Ripped one of the gutters off my house. It's kind of dangling anyways. I need to fix it. But instead of uh, putting it off to go fishing, I guess I got to get on that now that it's actually falling off. on the motor after the last two Thank you. What's the little wheel system you got there on the back? Oh yeah, this thing's like a hundred pounds even without all my crap on it, oh, so. I got, got one. Oh, do you? Yeah, get uh, native watercraft. They're like 200 bucks, but uh, it helps. I don't think I could move this without destroying it, you know? Look at that. Don't even need the glove. Come the fuck out. It looks good. I mean, it's fucking eight feet of water right here. Skipping up under trees. You'd think like this would be like the ticket, but. So far, no. There we go. 
Not huge, but Jesus, it took forever. So I am thankful for you. The smallest bass I've caught ever. This is really little, but damn, yeah, something attacked you and got your eyeball. Thank you, bud. Shit, there's a mob and acid in Palmyra area. And they do graffiti. Shit's crazy. Gang, gang. little bait fish going fucking nuts as if they're getting chased but I don't see anything chasing they're just I don't know I don't know what's going on just frolicking I suppose <laughs> I have no idea There's one. No, he got off. God. How? It's full of trebles. Big carp right there. Couple big carp right there. This is my personal best. I've never caught a bigger fish in the canal ever in my life. Oh my God. It's the biggest fish by a long shot I've ever caught in the canal. Oh my God. This is a freaking tank. I mean, it's a good fish most places, but in the canal, this is a freaking monster. Oh my God. Dude, thank you <laughs> for making my whole day. Dude, this thing is fat. Oh, I never hooked up my thing. Let's just get a length on you. Doesn't look super long, but it is fat as hell. Oh my god. Yeah. So 18 and a quarter. Let's see what this thing weighs. So zero. Oh damn it. 472. Thought it was gonna hit five. It's just so fat. Oh and that is why we came. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at that freaking thing. Four seventy-two. I can't believe it didn't hit five. It's only eighteen and a half, but it was just it had a basketball belly on it. I wasn't gonna throw over that stick too, and I was like, "What are you freaking scared?" I know, baby. So I threw over the stick. <laughs> Boom! Thing slurped it up. current coming through here <clears throat> if you live here and you're a fish you've never been casted at probably a lot of stuff happening here and looks good but not even a little fish not even like a bluegill or something I can't believe it, but it seemed like there'd be something in here. 
I don't even spook anything though. Not even a carp. go we're we gonna start picking up here that's a good one thank you buddy These fish might be like that big, big one and the one I just caught. They might just be like running these stretches. Like they could own the whole, you know, 50 yard stretch or whatever it is. Well, you guys saw it. <laughs> Even landed in the nest. I think that's technically a land, right? I don't know. <laughs> Comment below. That was ridiculous. Like a good fish. Oh, oh, that's probably what it was. It's a freaking pick roll. Okay. Thanks, but no thanks. I was like, why the hell is my bait over there? <laughs> oh god. Picked it up and swam with it. Decent little one. Nice one. So that was on the left side of this tree. Is there one tucked up in there on the right side? Let's find out. Oh, I went over the branch and I'm, oh god, I just got so lucky. So the hook's exposed. <laughs> I 
Oh, something just had it. Let him get it all the way. freaking real one on for a second but it's wrapped up on that stick He came and got it while I was swimming. Come on. There it is. Thanks, bud. first but he's eating freaking crawfish or something you can see his mouth is red as hell thanks bud Dude, you want to get off my hook? Let me grab your bottom lip. There you go. Finally got one up top. Pretty. 